Aesthetically, this place is amazing. Enormous ceilings, sweeping views, lots of light. Financially, the impact of this $1.4 billion development called MGM National Harbor is also expected to be stunning. It's going to be terrific for the entire state. Uh, I think the tax revenue uh, is estimated to be somewhere between 43 and $47 million uh, annually, which will really help do a lot of things that we need done in the state. When this 24-story destination resort, as it's called, opens to the public tonight, you'll also find quite a few firsts. A 125,000-square-foot casino that smells like chocolate, thanks to the pastry shop next door. Sarah Jessica Parker's first standalone boutique. No interviews, thank you very much, but we were not too proud to gawk at the shoe collection Carrie Bradshaw could be proud of. Or stop and stare at Bob Dylan's Iron Arch way. Could this be the first Nobel Prize winning art installation in a casino? <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty safe bet, yes. <laughs> There's also art in the floor, a mind-bending installation by Baltimore artist Cho Han. Sometimes many people just walk by, but when you look down you can find, you know, very fun, like a great illusion piece on the floor. Voltaggio Brothers Steakhouse. And a big first for Maryland's own Voltaggio Brothers, their first joint restaurant. Their parents on their way down. It's actually going to be the first time they see the restaurant, so we're a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, mom walks in. If we didn't do everything right, then we might get in trouble tonight inside of our own house. So MGM National Harper officially opens to the public at 11 o'clock tonight. If you can't make it right away, don't worry, because next month, they told me, this place will become home to the world's largest chocolate fountain. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, Kate.